Hey guys, and welcome to uh, back to another random distractions video, video where we're playing Tell Me Why. And in this video, we made it into their mom's room, Marianne, and we're looking for Tyler's diary, which he believes to be in here. Um, so let's do a little searching. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't hmm. the author go insane or something? <sighs> no wonder Marianne liked it. Timeless sea. Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix it on scene. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's here. Hold on though. Let me see if there's anything else before I do that. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and, and they're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why. I need them. I need my goblins. That's weird. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here, it's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, how were they able to hear that? Or see I that memory? They have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Hmm. Oh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. Collectible, the wise princess. Okay, I think I searched everything. Let's get that. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Your transgender child, huh? Youth virtue seekers, youth camp. Hmm. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? 
She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We hmm. both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I f finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Maybe it wasn't because of that then. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess.
guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. Hmm. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it, then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Hmm. Maybe Tessa has answers. Must be nice to forget. Let's try. Tessa. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just... wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. <laughs> I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Okay. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. <laughs> Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. 
I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Ellie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team like it's wrong for me to play a boys sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again, and I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Hmm. Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great. But mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it gloried, glorified war. Zoom, zoom. Saturday, 5th, February 2005. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to do? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault mom got angry at us. She is such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us in a few days. Ellie said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. Hmm. Do this, do that, I am sick of her voice, and I am sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. <laughs> the drawing of her his sister. Well, I'll go ahead and stop the video here. Thanks again for joining me guys uh, for another random distractions video uh, Would definitely appreciate a like and um, Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next one drops and and I'm just sniffing over here and uh, Maybe I should go get some deodorant So until then hope you have a good one